It is now 838 and we're back with Eat This Not That and we're talking about when grilling becomes gut busting. When you eat at a restaurant, you may order a grilled dish as a healthier choice, but David Zinzenko says you could be getting more than you bargained for. He, of course, is the author of the Grill This Not That Backyard Survival Guide. David, good morning. Welcome back. It's good Always to see you. Always a pleasure you. to see you, man. I don't get this, to be perfectly honest. You put a meat, a piece of meat on a grill, why is that bad for you? It sounds pretty healthy. Because it's not cooked in your own backyard where you can control it. Grilled in a restaurant basically means it's it's not grill, uh, grill per se. It's like a grill plate. And what happens is it traps in the fat. You know, the, the chef is cooking while he's painting it with more butter. If you add in some, you know, slather, So simple sugar, grilling sausage. is fine, but some of the way yeah. they grill in these chain yeah. restaurants, which we're not going to identify, right. is not good You for do it you. in your own backyard, you can lose a dozen pounds before the pool opens. All right, let, let's take a look. First right. thing we've got is a grilled pork chop, and this right. is a restaurant chain version of a grilled pork chop with mashed potatoes and spinach. What's the problem with this? The problem is that this piggy should have stayed home. This is 1,500 calories. It's three days of saturated fat and it's two days worth of sodium okay so the so and the saturated fat and the fat is in the meat itself right. because so you've got over a thousand calories just in the pork chop alone and it's a lot of fat whereas it ends up being the equivalent of these dozen bowls of Breyer's vanilla ice cream. This is this, okay? Yes. 1,500 calories, 1,500 calories. If you do it at home and you want a similar dish, you've right. got this equivalent. The great news is every every dish here that you're cooking yourself is a third the calories. So this is 490 calories. You're cutting fat, you're cutting sodium, you're cutting everything, and you still have a side of, of grilled asparagus. Okay, let's move on. We've got restaurant chain grilled steak fajitas, all right? Yeah. And what's the problem here? Well, the problem again is you've got too much fat sauteed in the peppers and the onions. You've got it on an oily bed of rice. You've got a fattier meat, and then you've got these toppings, and each one is, is probably 200 calories each coming into this dish where it ends up being the equivalent of these eight Taco Bell crunchy tacos. So if you do it at home, it's absolutely delicious. All right, now the big difference I see here is what you put, the, you have a, a, a less fatty cut of meat. Right. You've got, instead Leaner of the of rice, meat. you've got the vegetables, grilled vegetables yep. below, but you still have the toppings here. Right, and it's still, and that's okay. It still comes in at 430 calories versus 1,400. Okay, let's move on to a burger. Everybody wants to know about a burger. This one right. is a restaurant chain. That's a lot of meat yeah. in this one right here. Yeah. This is a restaurant yeah. this chain is a burger. Big portion size. And what's the what's the calorie content of something like well, that? Well, it's over 1,300 calories. So you got the cheap fatty meat. You got the heavily buttered bun. You got the overblown portion size. You got a dubious restaurant griddle, uh, glazed in molten beef fat. Other than that, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, 65 grams of fat. It's the equivalent of a full pound of this beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how long it would take to eat a full pound of beef right? jerky? I know, I, it's, it's insane. All right, so we but make it at make home. This burger at home, this cowboy burger from Grill This Not That, you are basically getting onion, cheddar, barbecue sauce, and you're even getting bacon. And it's only 460 calories. That's a major, major savings. It's a major improvement. I mean, you can lose so much weight if you grill at home on a proper grill. Okay, let's go to a ribeye steak. This is one you might get at a very popular chain of restaurants. Again, we're not mentioning the chain of restaurants. Right. What's in this? It's over 900 calories, 71 grams of fat, over 1,000 milligrams of sodium. Um, it's a good portion size uh, for a Boy Scout troop. Um, calorie equivalent ends up being seven cups of Campbell's chunky beef with vegetable soup. Are you telling me Campbell's chunky beef is not good for you? <laughs> Can you believe it? Because <laughs> I, I love that <laughs> stuff. Is it, is it? We'll have one I've ball. had this have stuff. I grew up balls. on this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me too. Me too. And the alternative, you make you it go at home? With, you go with a strip steak. It's a leaner cut. Is that it's blue a better cheese cut. dressing? It is blue cheese butter. It is blue cheese butter. And, and it's, and it's okay? delicious. Yes, and it's 300 calories right here. All right, real quickly, this is what? This is this grilled is sausage, sausage pizza? Sausage pizza, over 1,500 calories. You got 110 grams of fat. It's the equivalent of a dozen Oscar Mayer beef franks. And if you have this sausage and peppers pizza from Grill This Not That, you can do it in 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and it's 550 calories. Again, it's a third the calories. And there are 149 other recipes like this. Saving us calories, helping us lose weight. David Zinzenko, as always, thanks.